What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing all three locations of the Barbarian set of armor. You guys already know the deal. If you do find this guide informative or just enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content. But to get the Barbarian armor, there is no requirement. You just have to go to three locations and just get after it and find it yourself. And I have all three of these locations marked on my map. So when I'm going to be showcasing them, I'm going to be uh, pretty much going to Lookout Landing and showcasing where they are at for the Lookout Landing. So the first one is going to be the Barbarian barbarian like chest plate the armor and that is going to be located right off the rip you can actually get this armor really really early in the game considering it is in an easy spot so from lookout landing it is over here at this chest inside the cronin hill cave so that is exactly where we're going to go i'm just going to fast travel over to the uh, mio shrine and uh i'm going to go towards it so yeah cronin hill shrine or a cave whatever it's called right to the upper right of lookout landing is going to be our first piece of armor and this is actually the only piece of barbarian armor that I have at the moment. So I'm going to be getting the extra two live here for you guys. So we're going to fast travel over here just to make this video a little bit quicker and just showcase you, uh, me just running in there and showing where it is at. Cause again, I already have that. And if you are looking for certain caves, make sure you head over to this little, uh, cherry blossom tree. It will show you exactly where all the caves are in that area. So from here, I'll line myself up with that nice, lovely ping. I have, it's actually not a ping. It's just a stamp. And I probably should have pinged them to make my life a bit easier, but Hey, it's all good. It is all good. I'm just gonna go across here. I'm gonna fly and see if I can make it across the river. Come on now, get across that river. Get across that. Pretty close. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm starting to get farther and farther in this game. I have a full wheel of stamina, which is awesome. And on top of that, I got a decent amount of heart, so I can run around. But the Barbarian set of armor is probably one of the best sets of armor in the game. That's why I really want to showcase and bring you guys a guide on this one, because it brings your attack up. It is absolutely amazing. It's great for fighting bosses. Plus, if you level it up, its defense is pretty solid as well. So it's a great set of armor to actually have as early as possible. But we make our way over to this cave right here. And this is the cave that I marked on my map. The Krennin Hill Cave. So as you make your way over here, you just want to kind of just like walk in here. Kind of go straight to the middle and uh, fly out here. So there should be a nice little hole in the wall. And I'm trying to look for it. Where is it again? Is it up to the left? I can't really see in the caves too well considering my brightness is down on my monitor. But there's a stone talus here, which is kind of annoying. But what you want to do is come over to... Where is it at? I can't even see it. It's right here in the wall. But you want to look for these little banners. So in all the caves that these armors are going to be in, the banners are going to be leadways. There's actually going to be rocks right there. You're going to want to blow them up, hit them with a stone axe, stone sword, whatever, or just shoot a bomb arrow towards it and walk right in here. And as you walk in here, got a few bonfires, and on top of that, you see a little shrine right here. And inside the shrine is going to be a chest. I already collected it, and that is going to give you this nice, lovely set of the barbarian armor. So that's going to be the first piece of barbarian armor. Let's head on over to the second one, which is actually located over here near the Kakariko village it is right down here where i have this stamp and this is near i forget what the cave is because i haven't been there yet but this is where the stamp is the cave is right in front of it so i'm actually just going to fast travel to hmm probably right here best shot is going to be go to the tower fly up in the tower glide over there to get there as quickly as possible so guys, I'm up in the air right now, flying towards this little marker. I should be straight on. I don't have the flying gear, so it's a little bit of a pain with me flying, but I have enough stamina where I can reach a pretty good distance. I should have probably pinged these. It's so much easier to just ping the locations instead of stamping them, but I want to keep the pings that I have considering I'm working on things. So I'm just going to line myself up with that stamp, and I'm just going to keep flying over towards that cave. But yeah, I'm super excited to actually get the Barbarian set. It, again, it's probably one of the better sets in the game. Super, super powerful very solid especially when you get all three you get that attack boost and then when you upgrade it i think it's to like level two or maybe level three you get another attack boost on top of that so it's absolutely amazing it's absolutely amazing but we're making our way there we're getting pretty close to it might have to do a little bit of running but if i land up on like these uh these grassy hills i could definitely shield sheriff off of them so that can make uh our journey just a tad bit quicker just a tad bit quicker but when we get to this cave this one's kind of has like a little bit of a puzzle the other one was more so you just walk in there shoot a rock down, hop in there, grab yourselves that lovely little uh, 
piece of armor. But this one, a little bit trickier than the other ones. It is definitely a little bit trickier. But let's just keep flying, keep on going. And I'm running out of stamina. It kind of bothered me. And I have no stamina elixir. Kind of annoying. <laughs> it's definitely kind of annoying. But how close did I make it? I'm pretty close to it. I'm pretty close to it. I think it's just like in this little like, a little fissure right there. So I'm actually just going to land over here. And refill my stamina. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're on foot for the rest of the way. We are on foot. Uh, also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below other guides you want to see. And uh, other armor sets you guys want me to showcase. Because I can get you guys any armor set, any guide. I'm planning on showcasing probably like the, the harder ones to find, such as this one, that are still very, very good. We did showcase where to get the Champions Tunic at. If you guys do not know where that's at, then I'll head on over to my channel. Check out the videos, all that good stuff. We got that rolling for you guys. And then now we got this Barbarian set armor out. And by the time you guys probably watch this, I might have another one out. I just might have another one out. But as we make our way down here, this is exactly where we want to go. And Shield Surfing is our best friend. So we want to hop all the way down here. And there should be a nice, lovely little cave somewhere behind me. There it is. Bang. Right here. And this cave is called the, what is it called? The Road Bread Drop-Off Cave. And again, it is right here on the map. Right in between all this, bottom right of Kakariko Village. So, we're going to make our way here. And again, like I said on the first one, these little, like, cloths, banners, is directing you towards the way. It's, it's showing you that you are going the right way. But from here, it's a little bit of a puzzle. You see these little three guys, whichever way they're looking, you kind of want to follow. So, they're looking this way. We're going to make our way over here and keep going towards this way. And then we're going to go down this way. And then again, we see the banner. So we know we're going the right way. There's plenty of luminous stones in here too. So if you guys want to get the luminous stones, be my guest. We got a little chew jellies here. Just going to kill it. And then look again. Three stones. They're looking this way. We are going to take out this rock right here. And do I have any bombs? Please tell me I have some bombs. I got four. Beautiful. Lovely. We're going to take a bomb. Shoot it right through it. Break open that. And I actually did not break it. Can I squeeze through that? I can. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I don't have to waste another bomb arrow. So we make our way here. We see the banners again. Awesome. The cloth. All good. Let's us know we are going the right way. So keep on heading down this pathway. You can glide. You can do whatever you want. And as you can see, there is just like a horde of enemies right here. So you can take them out if you want to. Or you don't have to. Say you're a low level and you're just trying to get the barbarian set. Just bring out a bomb flower. Shoot it. And just run right past them. I'm out of here. I'm trying to get low. I don't care about their, uh, their items right now. So after that, you're good. They're not going to follow you or anything. You can just run past them and keep running through this cave. So as we keep making our way through this cave, we're just going to keep following it around. And eventually, it's going to lead us again to the statues. The three statues. And again, three statues are the one we want. So as you guys can see, we have one, five, and three. And if you look up, you can actually see like there's little like ledges or stuff that looks like you can ascend through. You're going to want to bring out your ascend and ascend above the what's it called? The statues with three on them. So we're going to hit ascend. It's going to bring us up. And we are going to get ourselves another piece of the barbarian set. Which is awesome. Bang. Another little shrine. Chest is waiting there for us. And this is my first time grabbing it. So you guys are going to you guys are gonna open it with me. So there it is. Second piece of the armor. We got the barbarian helm. Let's move on to the third. So for the third. We're going to want to go towards. Where is it at? Right here. Hateno village. And more so the Hateno ancient lab. Which I haven't unlocked yet. But I have this little shrine right here. Which can make life 10 times easier. So I don't have to just like walk on land all the way around. So we're going to fast travel to Hateno village. We're going to walk over to the marking spot. And let me show show it on the map one more time. Because I don't think I. I don't really think I show it. I showed it too much. But it's right at that pond. Next to the Hateno research lab. So you just go to that pond. You're going to see a cave to the right. And you can, you're going to be able to walk inside of it. And get after that last piece of armor. So. Let me pull out the map, showcase where it's at. So we are right here in the Hateno village. Over here is going to be the lookout landing. Here's the first one. Second one is down here, bottom right of Kakuriko village. And then right next to Hateno village down here is going to be the last piece of armor, which I might just want to ping. Do I want to ping? No, we're just going to make our way this way. I'm just going to fly here. I got to go all the way up and you can see that tower right there. Kind of a pain of a trip, but it's okay. I think if you have the Hateno Research Lab unlocked, I'm pretty sure you can just straight up fast travel to it, which is awesome, which is definitely awesome. But for me, I don't have it unlocked just yet. So we're taking the ye old Heel Toe Express and we're walking this, running this, I should say. 
So when you get up to the Hateno Research Lab, all you want to do is hop off over here towards that pond, like I said. And again, there should be a cave right next to this waterfall, and I can see it right now. So I'm just going to float down there. I'm going to glide over there. And we are going to grab ourselves the third and final piece of that armor. So let's make our way here. There is a bunch of uh of those monkey enemies. Uh, are they called Harblins again? Harblons? I totally forget their names, but they are going to be all over this place. So you can see them there. You can fight them if you want, grab the material, but you really don't have to fight any enemy here. You can get some nice little rocks and all that good stuff, which I'm going to hit right now. Get some topaz, ruby, and amber. And I'm just going to keep making my way through the middle. So all you want to do is head over here all the way to this giant little rock. Stalagmites, I think they're called giant little stalagmite so you can just run straight past everything not fight a soul but if you look up left to it you are again going to see a nice little crevice in the wall and on top of that you're going to see those little banners which is awesome so again the banners are your best friends you want to see the banners that's how you know you're going the right way so we're going to climb this wall nice little hefty hefty climb and we're just going to walk straight into it and look at that another shrine you don't really have to do too much for this one just light a fire fruit on your arrow shoot it down and it's going to start to melt. I think you got to actually shoot the bottom or something to actually take it out, which is good. Yep, just keep firing. And can I place it next to it? There we go. And then unfreeze it, open a chest, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The third and final piece of armor for the Barbarian set. The Barbarian leg wraps. So let me put all this on. Give me a nice little attack boost. And yeah, there it is. One of the best sets in the game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's guide. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.